eating and some chefs say I don't care about all that nonsense. I just care about what the food tastes like. But we have eyes and ears and nose. And we use that as all part of the process. We taste with all of the senses. Um, and if you think about, say, the five most memorable meals you've ever had, I guarantee a couple of them, well, the food will be good, but actually it'll be more about the location, the occasion, the company. Um, and this is so important in the, in, in the whole package. Eating simple crudite with mayonnaise, or sitting around Thanksgiving table with my family, more often than not, the most memorable meals, the most, the most often that I'm brought to some point of emotion is not when I'm eating food that confronts or food that challenges, but more often than not, it's this level of comfort. But that being said, I think it proves the fact that food, dining, eating, the consumption of food can be, on its most simple level, an emotional experience. You grab the tomato out of the garden, you sprinkle some salt on it, you eat it, that can be profound. So at its very core level, eating and dining can be emotional. If we can agree with that, then it seems likely that Food is in fact 